honoured members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Porsche stand here for the 11th Dubai International Motor Show. My name is George Wills and I have been recently appointed as the new Managing Director of Porsche Middle East and Africa. Having worked nearly three decades in various fields of the automotive industry, I look forward to my new challenge and today have the great pleasure of introducing the new Porsche 911 Carrera S to you. To build a new 911 meant we had to redefine the epitome of a sports car. The research and development team practically started with a clean sheet of paper, with a very simple aim. The 911 must be, as always, the best 911 ever. The new generation can be seen as one of the biggest development steps in the long history of the 911, with almost 90% of all components either new or redefined. Let me introduce you to some of the new design features of our reinvented icon. Viewed from the side, one of the most pronounced points of differentiation is the 100mm longer wheelbase, together with the wider front track width of 52mm for the Carrera S. The new 911 generates an entirely different geometry. With an overall length of just 4.5 metres and an unchanged width of 1.8 metres, the 911 Carrera remains the most compact sports car in its class. Typical for the revised wider front end of the new standard by Zenon headlights and larger side air intakes. The new 20 inch wheels underpin its athletic appearance. The wider, variably extending rear spoiler emphasizes the new model's greater power output and supports a significantly lower lift. Redesigned, narrower LED technology rear lights complete the rear profile. To complement the new exterior, Porsche designers created a new interior with cues taken from the Carrera GT. The driver is now even more closely integrated with the cockpit, thanks to the centre console rising up to the front with the high-mounted gear lever located especially close to the steering wheel, in a typical sports car fashion. Centrally located in the completely redeveloped dashboard is a larger 7-inch touchscreen. The 911 Carrera features a 3.4-litre Boxer engine producing 350 brake horsepower, and the 911 Carrera S with its 3.8-litre Boxer engine producing 400 horsepower, which is the display car that we have with us today. The all-new lightweight body is an intelligent aluminium steel construction. It is responsible for a significant proportion of the weight reduction of more than 40 kilograms. Despite five more horsepower for the Carrera and 15 more horsepower for the S version, the average fuel consumption is around 8.2 litres per 100 kilometres. That is a 16% improvement over its predecessor. Thanks to Porsche Intelligent Performance, the 911 Carrera with PDK is the first sports car to make it below 200 grams CO2 emission threshold. But there are many more firsts in the new 911 Carrera. It is the first passenger car in the world to feature a seven speed manual transmission. It's the first sports car equipped with an auto start stop function electromechanical power steering and also features so-called coasting function. Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control is now available. And last but not least, Porsche Talk Victory, or PTV, makes its debut in the 911 Carrera S as a standard feature. In summary, the aim of building the best 911 ever has been fulfilled and is proven with a new confirmed lap time of just 7 minutes and 40 seconds on the famous Nuremberg Rings Nordschleifer, 14 seconds faster than its predecessor. 
The new 9-11 Carrera is our approach to the preservation of tradition. It is precisely how we respond to the requirements of the modern day sports car. Ladies and gentlemen, honoured members of the press, the future of the sports car begins now.